Welcome to a quick video tutorial here on lenses. We're going to look at two different types of lenses, converging lenses and diverging lenses. The idea of refraction is kind of relevant here when you look at lenses. If you look at this guy here, this converging lens, what you have essentially is two convex materials such that when the ray of light hits the, this lens, the light is refracted in a way that the light passes through something that's called the focal point. For a diverging lens, you've got the same sort of situation happening except your light rays are bent away from the focal point on the right side of, of the lens. So just remember refraction is, is the bending of light as it passes from one medium to another. In this case, we're passing through the air, through our, our lens material, and then back into the air again. So we've got refraction of light, we're bending our light. We either are hitting our focal point or we're moving away from our focal point. Okay, so that's just a little bit of background on lenses. What we're gonna do in this video is I'm going to show you a couple problems involving converging and diverging lenses. And I'm just gonna show you how to predict what images are gonna look like when rays of light are shot towards these lenses. So this first example here, this is draw a ray diagram for the situation and describe the characteristics of the image. So it says an, an object two centimeters high is placed four centimeters in front of a converging lens with a focal length of two centimeters. So we wanna draw a ray diagram for this situation. I've just kind of built a converging lens here so I'm going to place that on this grid, which is really useful when I look at measurements. You can actually draw these things to scale. So what I have is a two centimeter high object. So that's just represented by this arrow. On my grid, two spaces is going to represent one centimeter. So you can see this guy here is two centimeters high. That's my object. It's placed four centimeters in front of a converging lens. So that's one, two, three, four centimeters in front of the lens. The focal length in this case is two centimeters. So the focal length is going to be the distance between our focal point and the lens. Okay, so in this case, two centimeters. I'm gonna label two focal points. My diagram is gonna be set up like this. Okay, so next thing is I can actually start this process. This is very similar to the process for drawing ray diagrams for concave and convex mirrors. I've got the steps listed on the left here, so feel free to follow along. First thing you wanna do is take your blue ray from the top of your object. You wanna draw this parallel to your principal axis such that it strikes the lens at a 90 degree angle. What happens is once you hit this lens, this ray is refracted such that it passes through the focal point on the opposite side of the lens. So once I hit this lens, my ray is bent towards the focal point and it passes through in this manner. Second step, I'm gonna take a red ray and I'm going to draw it from the top of the object. So I'm gonna start at the top and it's gonna pass right through the center of the lens. Now, lenses are weird in that when you pass through the center, it essentially acts like a flat piece of glass. So the rays leave in the exact same direction that they entered. So that's gonna look like this. Okay, just a straight ray through the lens. You can already see on the right side here, we're sort of converging into one point. This is the point where all my rays happen to be meeting up. So the third step, I'm gonna take this ray from the top of my object. Now this time, instead of leaving parallel to my principal axis, I'm actually going to pass through the focal point on the left side of the lens, the object side of the lens. I'm going to strike my lens, and what's going to happen is I'm going to have this ray of light refracted in a way that the ray leaves the lens parallel to the principal axis. You kind of want to see a situation where your rays all sort of converge into, into one point. So you can see here that situation is happening. The last step is to draw an image where the three rays intersect. Okay, so here's my image. If I look at all of my characteristics of images. The location is exactly the same distance from the lens and you can actually count that because we have scale here. We've got four centimeters to the lens this way. We've got one, two, three, four centimeters away from the lens on the right side. It is inverted, right? It's, it's vertically flipped. It's the same size. Again, you can count one, two centimeters, one, two centimeters. And this is a real image. The reason being, these rays of light are actually coming from this image. Real images have rays of light that are coming from them. Virtual images, rays of light just appear to be coming from those images. Okay, next example I wanna do here, same sort of problem. I wanna draw a ray diagram and describe the characteristics of my image. This time I'm working with a diverging lens. So again, I've got an object that's two centimeters high, uh, same sort of situation, I'm placing it four centimeters away from my diverging lens. So that's my object. In this case, I have a focal length that is three centimeters. I've labeled my, my two focal points, one on the object side and one on the opposite side, and I'm ready to start following these steps. Very, very similar procedure to the last example. So I've got my blue ray. It's gonna leave from the top of the object and it's going to strike the diverging lens parallel to the principal axis. 
And what's gonna happen is when this ray leaves the lens, it appears to be coming from the focal point on the object side of the lens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of move this just so it's not as distracting. Uh, that is sort of where that ray is gonna come from, right? It appears to be coming from the focal point. Second ray, I'm gonna leave directly from the top of the object, similar to what I did with the blue ray, and this is gonna pass through the center of the diverging lens. And that's one of those properties of lenses in general. If I pass through the center, the ray continues in the exact same trajectory that it entered the lens. Okay, similar to converging lenses. Okay, so the next step, I'm gonna take another ray. Uh, again, this one's just gonna be green. I'm going to start at the top of the object, just like I did with all the other rays, and I'm going to leave from the top of the object as though it were going to the focal point on the opposite side of the lens. And what happens is instead of actually reaching that focal point, the light is refracted such that it leaves the lens parallel to the principal axis. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just scale back that, that ray just to avoid some confusion here, but that's what you're seeing. So you can see here, these things are called diverging lenses for a reason. My rays of light have diverged, so they don't converge into the focal point. They actually move away from the focal point. So the last thing I need to do is I need to take the blue ray and the green ray, and I need to sort of backtrack toward the object as if they were on the object side of the, of the lens. And what I'm going to do is follow the blue ray. Okay, so you can see here I've got that extended ray. Remember, this one should pass through the focal point. Remember, when we drew the blue ray, we drew the diverted ray in a way that it appeared to be coming from the focal point. So that's where we should be passing through. Okay, our green ray, we want to take that guy and backtrack onto the left side of the lens. And you can see here, I've got a nice little point of intersection between the extended blue ray, the extended green ray, and the red ray that was already there. Okay, so what I want to do is just draw the image here. This image is actually not a real image, it's a virtual image, which usually we use dotted lines to indicate virtual images. I'm gonna do my best. That's my virtual image right there. Okay, so you can see it's on the left side of my lens, not on the right side. Uh, it shouldn't be on the right side because all my rays of light have been diverted away from the focal point. On the left side of my lens, we appear to be converging towards the focal point, which is why we have that, that virtual image on the left side. Okay, looking at the image characteristics here, this image is closer to the lens. You can see our original object was, was four centimeters away. This one is um, like, uh, and, uh, okay. And like I said, this is a virtual image. These rays of light are not actually coming from this image, but they do appear to be coming from the image. And that's what defines this as, as a virtual image. Okay, so that's the idea for drawing converging and diverging ray diagrams to predict what images are gonna look like. Very similar procedure to what we did with our concave convex mirrors, but you know, we're, we're taking into consideration the lens property that we sort of talked about at the beginning of this video lesson.